Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something that I think everybody should have at least in their house as kind of a safety uh, precaution. If you're a homeowner, even if you have an apartment, even if you're in the trades, I think everybody should kind of have one of these around. This is a uh, combustible gas leak detector from uh, Top Test. So they sent this to me for free and I was like, yeah, I'm going to review it. But you know what? If it isn't good, I'm going to voice my opinion about it like I always do. Put the link down there, check it out. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. They sent it to you in a box just like this. And you have your directions. Comes with the tester itself. Then a nice thing is they actually send you batteries and they are Duracell batteries, which are actually pretty good batteries. Uh, and then they send you a little cloth case not excited about the cloth case, kind of wish it was a uh, little plastic case, hard plastic case. That way it keeps this thing a little bit more protected. But for the price, uh, it's actually not too bad. So we're going to put the batteries in. Open them up. Two AAA batteries. And then they go in just like... There is a indicator of how the batteries go on this side. We're just going to plop them in because even though I'm going to tell you which way to put the battery in, some people put them in the wrong way and I have done it before. <laughs> We're going to turn this on. There is a, I think they, they say there is a 30 second warm up phase on this. It's a calibration phase. Yeah. So. When it is done calibrating, it'll beep twice and then the sensitivity button will stay lit. And then you are ready to take measurements. There is, oh, now it's ready. <laughs> there is an auto off on this after about five minutes of not being used, it will shut off. That is a good thing because it's gonna save your battery life. If we press the sensitivity button, there is a high and a low. It doesn't actually tell you on the screen if you're on high or low. If you are on low, the light, the sensitivity button isn't going to light up as much. It actually is not gonna light at all. You can see that it doesn't light at all. Show that to you. And then if we press the button, it lights up. So that means it's on high. If we long press the power button for more than two seconds, it will shut off. I'm not gonna shut it off because then I don't wanna go through the whole 30 second calibration again. But it will tell you if your batteries are getting low, there is a low indicator battery light on this. So on the high sensitivity, you're gonna be measuring 50 to 500 PPM, that's parts per million. And then on the low sensitivity, you're gonna be measuring 500 to 1000 PPM. And what that's gonna end up doing is when you're in a room that you kind of smell gas or you're trying to figure out where the gas leak is, you want it on high. And then if this thing goes off, put it on low and then it's going to uh, lower that parts per million to a uh, more containable area that you can figure out where the gas leak is. So the working temperature of this is 32 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. So on really cold days, if you're outside and you're trying to find a gas leak, this may not work. This also has a range of humidity that it'll work in, 20% humidity all the way up to 80% humidity. So on really, really humid days, you may have some trouble reading this. This tester says that it will pick up different kinds of gas. It'll pick up propane, natural gas, and it'll pick up uh, methane, uh, sewer gases, and also they say, uh, Gasoline. So we're going to try to, we're going to test this out and see uh, what different gases it picks up. And uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the end. So one of the first things we're going to check out is we're going to check out uh, the propane natural gas. And this is going to be a quick test because uh, this is a simple one. And this is if like any of your uh, burners on your stove have a little uh, leak in the orifice. Uh, this is a good way to test out to see if they're closed all the way. And let's uh, just check this out real quick. This is just going to be the natural gas or propane uh, test. And we already have our tester on. And right now the gas is on. 
and it is going crazy, going crazy. But let's put it on low. Let's put it on low. See if it's still doing it on low. That's good. That's good. And I just shut it off. So this definitely works on propane and natural gas, but I, we have a bunch of uh, gas canisters out in the shop and I really wanna check and see if it picks up gasoline out there in the area. And also I wanna see if it picks up sewer gas. We're gonna check out to see if this has sewer gas. And one of the reasons why I suggest everybody should be getting one of these is because, especially if you're in the trades, even though you're not a plumber, but as an electrician, I've noticed that when I go into a lot of people's houses and go into like unfinished areas, they're not usually in there all the time. And when we work in there, I have found uh, quite a few gas leaks and have found uh, little sewer leaks. And I've pointed them out to homeowners and they're very thankful. And as uh, someone in the trades, I think that's what, you know, if anybody has a conscience should uh, be addressing the situation to a homeowner, even if it isn't your problem and it, you're not in the, you know, you're not a plumber and it's not your problem that there's a gas leak. Like I said, I have a conscience and I want, if I, if someone was working in my house and they found the same thing, I would be very thankful if someone addressed that situation to me and brought it uh, to my attention so my family is safe. So that's what I try to do too. And that's one of the main reasons why I got one of these gas leak detectors. Okay, so one thing that people don't check a lot is uh, sewer gas. And uh, we're gonna check and see if this detects sewer gas. This is in our well room and our drain doesn't have a lot of water going into it. And every once in a while, I've noticed that I can smell sewer gas and you gotta pour like a bucket of water into the drain. So uh, it fills that P-trap in the drain and it uh, keeps the sewer gas from coming up. So we're gonna check and see if we can detect sewer gas. So we have this. Detecting, we detect nothing, but that's okay. That means that you know, there's enough water in that P-trap that it's not detecting any sewer gas. So that's a win for me. Um, I really wish I could find something that has sewer gas problems. We're going to keep looking. We're going to keep looking in here. This is, I'm kind of disappointed I'm not finding anything, guys, but that's, you know, nothing is good. That's, that's a good thing. <laughs> so right now it's kind of a... Um, Kind of a bust on the uh, sewer gas, but I'm sure it will detect it. Let's go and uh, keep finding other things to detect. Here's something we're going to try to do. I have a lot of gas cans over in this area, and every once in a while I get a good swift uh, smell of gas. And I just want to check this out because sometimes it, there actually right now is not a lot of gas cans or diesel cans around uh, the area that we have, but uh, Sometimes there is a lot. Those fumes can really build up and uh, be combustible. So let's see if this gas detector detects gasoline. We have some gas cans. There's not a lot right now. There's some kerosene. Some are some are full. That one's full. Some are some are empty. But uh, I could not detect anything right now around here. There's you know there's no nothing that to detect. But so I'm like, well, I want to find gasoline. So I just took the cap off the generator and we're going to just kind of give it a nice. So it is sensing the gasoline. So that's really good that it detects gas because I, I'm, I'm to blame too. A lot of people, they just, we have all these gas cans and we just kind of like pile them up in the corner of our garage and kind of forget about them. And so we have two cycle gas, we have diesel, we have gasoline. And, you know, especially in the summertime, those uh, fumes kind of get a little bit more, uh, the smell kind of can get pretty bad. And we don't think about it from time to time. And it's very combustible, especially with the gas. So this uh, little detector 
is really nice to help out in those situations. So is, does this detector work? Yes, it does. I highly suggest getting one for the price. You can't beat the price. I think they're under $20, they said. And uh, for under 20 bucks, this is also a great gift if you can't find uh, a gift for anybody and you just, someone likes to tinker around the house or DIY -er or they're in the trades, just get them one of these and uh, they can have some fun with it and uh, maybe save some lives. Um, so this is definitely a thumbs up on my review. Uh, I'm Philip Bridges, and if you haven't subscribed, uh, subscribe and do so. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. This is the Top Test PT199 gas leak detector. Check it out down below uh, and pick yourself up one. I'm Philip Bridges, and I will see you guys on the next one.